Am I live? Of course I'm live. A minute late as usual. People deluded, I'm back again. Good morning to those of you in the UK on this. I was about to say fine Saturday, it's peeing down there, people. But I'm not going to complain. It's, it's, you know, we need some rain. It's been ridiculously hot and them things. So, yeah, while it's a good morning affair um, over here in the UK, good afternoon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And, of course, good night, depending on who you are and wherever you are on this earth and whatever time zone you're operating on. I hope you're doing well and safe. Please make sure you're hitting the like button please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't um I've, the link is pinned to the live chat but i've also just dropped it again make sure you're subscribed to to me on twitch big up to everyone who was there for the twitch exclusive live q a i will at some point upload it onto youtube but in relation to being there being able to ask questions and things like that if you are not on following me on Twitch and you haven't got your notifications on, you're not going to be able to get that part. So I'd implore you all to set your reminders, make sure you're following on Twitch and things like that. Obviously, there isn't too much to speak about. It's the same old things, really. We'll get on to the latest with Tammy Abraham. There's a bit of Joe Willett business. Lacazette's alleged, allegedly available for 15 odd million. Obviously, you lot get your questions and all of those sort of things in and just opinions and the rest of it. Any other news starts filtering you know, we'll speak about it, but it's the same old, same old. Like you lot of Madison as well, we're going to get into that. Um, you know, there's a lot, there's not a lot to get onto, but there's always a lot where you lot are concerned. And I'm appreciative of you lot's support because, again, I see some, not to talk about other people, but I look at certain YouTube channels and, like, they're twats, their followers are twats, and it can't be nice going live. So I, I, I love the fact that you lot, you know, we all think differently, we disagree, but whenever you lot say something, I take things away from it, or you lot always provide knowledge, and you lot are just good to talk to, and I see you lot having questions among yourself and all of those sort of things. So I'm not just saying it for lip service. I really am appreciative of it, you know. You lot make it a pleasure to be here live and live every day. Do you know how draining it would be if you lot just spoke nonsense? You know, we could do nonsense, you know, deluded guna. Do you know how much nonsense we could run with that name? And you lot could do foolishness. But what I, I appreciate you lot, whether you're, you know, I know there's a lot of Arsenal fans. One love to my fellow club supporters, but I know there's a lot of fans, you know, I see Carl, for example, he's Villa, nothing to do with us here every day. CFC's finest, S, United and Chelsea fans respectively. You know, a couple Spurs fans are here and there's other clubs that got nothing to do with it. You know, I really appreciate that everybody is fans Fans of football first, clubs and the rest of it second. Before we crack on, what are you lot saying? Arsenal playing Millwall behind closed doors. I have seen a lot of people speaking about that. I wish I was in the know. I don't know what's going on there, but we need to sort out some pre-season fixtures. So, yeah, man, and I hope they batter Millwall. You know, I know it's a friendly, but there's no such thing as friendlies. And, you know, one love to the Millwall fans out, Millwall fans out there, but that's not a club I am quite fond of, really. So hopefully Arsenal can come out of it fitter, can come out of it with no injury problems, but smash them really and truly. You know, I'm not going to lie, with respect to Millwall, I know you're not going to see a full strength Everton, a full strength into Milan, but you know, the level of playing standards with them two could have been much higher. But saying that, you know, Rangers and Hibernian, credit to them with, you know, I'm not disrespecting Rangers at all because they won the league. They were two very good preseason workouts, I feel. And I hope Millwall is of the same standard. And obviously, I hope fitness and injuries primarily are, you know, no one gets injured, people get fitter. And then after that, thirdly, Hope Arteta can that move that much closer to installing his tactics into the team and things like that. Because there's going to be no excuses come August or kicking off against Brentford. We know it's going to be a firecracker of a season filled with highs and lows and whatnot. Um, and, you know, I'll be here to do watch alongs and speak about and offer my opinions. And obviously, when the season starts, we'll be doing tactical reviews and all of these sort of things, people, and, and, and stuff like that. But what are you lot saying? Peter's also said, listening while getting a foot massage, you you know the bloody vibes. Peter, it must be nice, man. You're on some Don Escobar thing. Appreciate that, man, you know, that you found. So a man said, one ear pod activated. Come on. A man said, which which pagan already disliked ain't even started? Bro, I always tell you, there's baby mamas out there, man. I told you, you know, certain man, you know, it's normally on a Sunday, but certain man's baby mums, they're, you know, they're cleaning the yard. They're, you know, they're doing their, their house chores. They're not listening to music. They're listening to my videos and they're wearing their nice little, you know, morning outfits and stuff like that. My man thought he could get a little satin satin. She wants to pre-DG in it. So this is why, man, I hitting the dislike button. It's not my fault. You know, any girls that I've done wrong out there as well, not that I think I've done it. I'm sorry. Please stop hating it on, on the thing. You know, this is professional. Let's leave it in a personal life. You get me? You know? 
So it is where it is, man. Smash the likes. If it's Chelsea versus, Ch if it's Arsenal versus Chelsea for Madison, he goes Chelsea. I believe so as well. But let's not, let's cool down, man. Let's cool down, JT, man. I appreciate that. But let's, let's, let's get into it when it comes, people. I appreciate the Twitch gang as well. Large up all the Twitch gang that's out there as well. Let me actually make sure I've got my Twitch manager open so I can see what the Twitch gang is actually saying, folks. Big up to you lot each and every time. This ain't create a dashboard is what i want yeah this is what it's supposed to look like tristan i appreciate that man a man said drop a like on youtube now here on twitch i appreciate that man i appreciate all the support you know it could be but i can't lie i'm very privileged man you have to count your blessings i'm very privileged i've got my health and i've got you lot it's it's, it's a pleasure to speak to you lot man Good and, and also as well, you, many a times you lot come to me angry and disgruntled. Hella times Arsenal have annoyed me, life have annoyed me. But just from speaking about football with you lot, I feel more chilled more time. You're right, we are live, old man. We are live, old. We go again. I hope you're doing well and safe as well, man. A man said a DG stream to keep me going just got up. My guy, best way in it. You know, it's like Christmas come early and them thing there. Big up KK. Your support as well, everyone, but your support, okay, I can't put into words, man. I appreciate you making sure you're purchasing that DG merchandise. I just appreciate your kind words. And I see you voted for me for the Football Content Awards and a couple of you have done it. Thank you for doing such. If you want to keep voting, do it. But I should really do a DG thoughts about it. You know, don't get it wrong. I would like to win. I would like you to vote, but... I'm not paying no attention to it, man, because I think these things are stitch-ups. I just, it, you know, I, I can't lie, man. I don't know how I didn't win it last time. I don't know how out of, you know, 30 under 30 football blacklist award, I was not on that. You know, even people that are, are helping with organising it say they feel I've been hard done by it. So I thought, you know what, man, just forget about them award things, innit? Awards and that, they just serve the ego awards and that, man. I get them things there if, it, if it's meant to be. And regardless, awards or not, Donnie's know that my thing is 30, isn't it? So forget all of that, man. If you want to vote, I appreciate it. But unlike the last two years, man, I'm not going to be doing the posts and telling you lot to do it up because I think you lot, I, I genuinely think the voting systems are rigged. I really think they're rigged, man, because I see some of you are going hard and, you know, some of you are voting at work, you're voting on your phone and you're voting here, you're making your girlfriend vote, all of that sort of stuff. And I just think it's a shag. Like, I really think it's a shag, man. Just a fan that said, DG, how are you, mate? Deluded in football community. It's been a long time. Hope all is well. Been away working, but I'm here locked on. Like button hit. Appreciate that, just a fan. You know, the beautiful thing about YouTube, it doesn't turn off. It'll always be here or my channel will always be here unless a madness happens to give you the quality you needed and love to have you back. Um, how do you vote? I can, again, I think you can vote via Inst their Instagram page. Whole heap of stuff you can do in it, but I'm not in there, man. I'm not in it because it's a shake still. Like you said, AM, hey, man, forget all of that. Let's not watch nothing. Let's just keep cracking on with what we're on, man. It's all rigged tea, 100%. Um, you I appreciate the vote, man, but I'm not involved, man. Serving out corn. I wish you ain't seen nothing, man. Always said, what's good, DG? My cam preference is one. Oh, interesting. One Odegaard, two Bernardo Silva, three Madison, four Hour. Well, for me, I disregard Hour because he wouldn't play 10 for me, he'd play the eight. But I know what you mean, the creative role or the most creative midfielder within your team. <clears throat> How you got Bernardo Silva behind Odegaard, though? I know in hindsight, Odegaard might do a madness, but Bernardo Silva being top of my list. Allegedly, City want to let him go for 50, 60 million, um, which in theory, you know, we should be able to... We should be able, we should be able to do that, really and truly. We should be able to do that. Obviously, he would pay for himself. He'd be a great player. But if I'm him, you don't go from being him at, at Man City, being linked with Barca and Madrid, where he's meant to go next last year to come to Arsenal. So I can't see it happening. You know, I would love, you know, all these players that I linked with moves away. You know, we're linked with Tammy Abraham. Why not see what you can do at your old colleagues for Gab Jesus? With respect to Tammy Abraham, see what you could do for Gabriel Jesus. I'd be cooler with that if I'm if I'm completely honest with you. Obviously, we have no chance of getting Mares and Sterling, but you get it. You never know, man. Life is about asking, isn't it? You don't ask, you don't, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. You have to try a thing, man. And I ain't really seen that sort of ambition. Like I said, wages, sporting stuff, we probably can't offer them much because all of them are in their primes. All of them are really living for now. Like, you know, Mares, Sterling and uh, Bernardo, they're present players. They're not really future. Obviously, Sterling's only 26, so he's still got a long time. But they're players for now. And if I'm them... Bro, Arsenal's project, on the best of days, you're hoping at least it's at least a three-year period, you know, by God's grace, you get 
Champions League this year, then next year you improve, you know, you get Champions League again, then the third year, you know, you do something beyond, obviously I'm not just saying I want to be top four, but you do something beyond that, maybe try and challenge, you know, do, do other things. So it's a, that's a, that's on the best of days. I think it's going to take longer than three years if we keep moving like this. But for for, uh, for if you're young like Saka and Smith Rowe, to a degree is calm, you know, suddenly if you're Sterling, what? You're, tw you're, you're 29. If you're Mares, you're Howard. If you're Bernardo, you're Howard. So they've all come from humble beginnings. There's always a chance, but I don't think there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a chance of it happening, man. For me, it would out of that list, Bernardo Silva first. Um, Bernardo first. And like I said, oh, it's a tough one, you know. I'm trying to do my own list. It's a tough one. Great way to start this. I'd say Bernardo Silva first, as I said. I was not really a 10 for me like them and there. But um, you know what? Bernardo first. I'd say Madison second. I'm open to Odegaard as well, man. You know, what? what? Bernardo, our Odegaard, no. Bernardo, Madison, our Odegaard. But an asterisk next to, an asterisk next to our because he's at 8.5. Um, I think people have written off Odegaard. I think he's a bad boy. I think all it takes is, you know, someone to have real faith in him because he hasn't had a prolonged season since the Sochia dad one. He weren't at Arsenal forever. He weren't at Real Madrid. For, well, he wasn't playing at Real Madrid earlier in the last season. I think if, if Carlo plays him, you might see the quality and people might stop turning up their noses to, to, to Odegaard. But I don't know that. So, yeah, man, I would love for me, Bernard. It's Bernardo Silva. That's your cam, that's your left winger, that's your right winger. He can play in a pivot as well. He's intelligent, he can score, he can assist. He, you know, he's got the mentality as well. You know, he's someone, you know, my early YouTube days, I was speaking about how much I wanted that player, but then once there has gone, I would love Raheem Sterling for every reason. Him being Jamaican, obviously, is a bonus, but you're not grabbing him again, you're not going to offer him nothing. But saying that, you know. All these big guys that are linked with moves away, some of them are obviously going to get moves. But, you know, let's just throw what out there. Salah, Kane, Pogba, uh, Bernardo, all them City guys. One thing going against them is the market, you know. Half of them are always linked with Madrid and Barca. Them and they are not looking to buy players per se. They're trying to pattern up their situation. And the same is said at a lot of clubs. So there's always a chance, you know. You've probably never had a chance. Teams like Arsenal have probably never had a better chance to be ambitious. To, I'd say arguably punch above your weight to go for that woman that is I don't believe anyone's out of anyone's league but quote unquote out of your league you know that's what we need to do really and truly there's never been a better chance but apart from dreaming I can't see happening but that's definitely a great question harder than I thought it would have been my guy and a lovely way to start this off please make sure you're hitting the like button big up my guy Oli Gola Solskjaer for that signing a new deal Fifth, lack of a 50 million take it because he isn't signing an extension or he leaves for free we'll get into that man a man said, big up DG, maybe a slow news day is an opportunity to push more deluded thoughts content. It's got to come to me, my guy. It's got to come to me. And I think, like I said, one has come to me. Let me, I'll, I'll give you a little spoiler of the title. Do not be bitter, be better. Because in, in my just small journey in, in YouTube, there's a lot of things that could have made me bitter. And at a point, I did hold bitter feelings, bro. Like... I don't want to spoil it, but I've spoken about these opportunities before, these TV opportunities, these football club opportunities, this, you know, one time, one thing that really kills me. I'm not going to hold it up, but let's just say, long story short, a well-known talent identification done got into contact with man in it and I couldn't believe it and listen it was meant to do your madness and someone cop blocked it that isn't involved in it like I was meant to be given see some serious stuff it would have been a movie in it I'll save it but it was meant to be a movie were in a movie and I, I at a point the person who messed it up who wasn't the individual he was the third wheel I could have been angry at them vex at them you know there's a lot of like the, the awards team there's plenty of reasons to be bitter but it's like there's no point keeping that in your heart it is what it is sort of thing so yeah man that could be a great one but I ain't I'm not gonna sit and lie I ain't gonna record that today man big up Mr Ablev23 appreciate you bro the baby dad's already disliking what can you do trust me what can you do bro Nothing you can do, man. It is what it is, man. That's ball 26. It's always lovely to see your name. Your username kills me, man. Deluded. Three weeks to go before the start of the season. I still don't know the starting 11. Boy, you and me both, man. There's too many gaps because it's like in my heart, you know, Leno's back in training. So Leno's number one. Right back. Who is the right back? It's Chambers. But I'd say leave that blank because I want a right back. Centre half. Gab well, Gabriel's injured, so he's not going to start the season. But historically, Gabriel and I'd assume Ben White. But that one ain't really over the line, you know. 
you know, so you've got question mark. Well, I'll say, you know, Ben White's there now, but question mark, asterisk better yet, question mark over right back, Partey and who? Like Smith Row 10, Partey and who? Then up front, you can do what you need to do. So for me, to not really have the spine addressed to the team, it's a bit of an issue. Like for me, if we don't sign another midfielder, you might as well just give get Lokonga up to speed, you know, because you then you, you you might as well just run Lokonga or Joe Willock. And for me, that's I like Lokonga. I think he's going to surprise things, but I just feel Lokonga and Partey isn't a sustainable partnership for 38 games. There'll be five, 10 games where we're going to need that. Same with a couple of other co um, compliments, but you get you get the point, man. Never, sorry, people, been a better time to show um, ambition slash three weeks to go and still concerns around our starting 11. Sorry, folks, that was just a timestamp. You know me, I'm always conscious of the individual, sadly, that can't watch this with us. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. There's 271 of you locked in. Can't wait for the start of the season, to be honest.